Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome to Tech Block. Today, we got a new package. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Netgear XR500 Nighthawk Pro Gaming Wi-Fi Router in black. I believe they also threw in a t-shirt in here as well, which I am very, very happy about. I'm gonna have another t-shirt, and by the way, I'm wearing a Tech Block t-shirt right now. I'm currently still working on the Tech Block t-shirts and Tech Block hoodies and stuff. They won't be out for a while, so you know, hold your horses. I'm working on them. I've got a white design, I've got a black design. You can check them out on Instagram. Any new sample or t-shirt design that I get, I will be posting on Instagram. So if you're interested in any like Tech Block merch updates or like fitness related content, check out my Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle that you can check out and there's also a link in the description down below as well. But anyway, Enough said, this is my new Netgear router. It was actually meant to be delivered yesterday on the 24th. However, I went out to town for like one hour and during that one hour that I was out of the house, Netgear tried to deliver the package, but I unfortunately wasn't home. So uh, I picked it up from the post office today and we have the package. So I have my lovely little red knife here that I've used to unbox just about everything on this channel with. Let's open up this Netgear package and take a look at this new router and I hope they actually send me a t-shirt or if it's going to come in like a different package later on but I don't really know all I know is that Netgear sent me a new router and you don't know how excited I am like lately my BT Smart Hub router has actually been having a few problems I'm not entirely sure if it's because like I've configured like a DNS server that isn't good or the Wi-Fi connection has just been really bad over the past couple of months as I only really use the Wi-Fi connection through my phone and for the past couple of months or so when I'm home I have to turn the Wi-Fi off because it doesn't really work half the time and I just end up using 4G instead which I don't really have a problem with like with my data contract on my phone I have 30 gigabytes a month and that's a lot of data for a phone and I don't really like watch YouTube or Netflix or anything so uh, 30 gigabytes is more than enough for me. Okay I've almost unboxed this, I'm gonna give you guys a better view so you can take a look at the router as well. Okay so I've adjusted the camera angle now. Ooh, oh my god! It's here! Oh there is a t-shirt in there as well and there's something here as well, oh my god. Look at this thing! Oh my lord, look at it! This router is a beast. <laughs> oh my god, I have never had a high-end router before, but oh my lord. By the way, I don't really have a desk to unbox things on, so I'm using a chair. <laughs> but nevertheless, this is the new router. Oh my god, so the Nighthawk Pro Gaming XR500 gaming router. We got a gaming dashboard, a geo filter, quality of service, and a gaming VPN client. Also, in the Amazon page, it said this is Fortnite optimized. So if you're looking for a router, and you want better ping on Fortnite and better connection overall, check out the Netgear router. Oh my god, like the packaging. This is top-notch packaging, Netgear. All these little lines here and stuff. Damn, guys. We got Netgear logo up there. Oh my lord, right. So we got a bunch of information on the back here as well. It is powered by Duma OS. We have optimize your gaming performance, crush the lag, guarantee local connection and eliminate lag, prioritize your gaming traffic. So we have your desktop computer there, PlayStation 4, Xbox One for example, your iPhone, your MacBook, your iPad. So I guess through here you can prioritize your like, download and upload traffic and like who has the priority I suppose, which is pretty cool. We have customizable dashboard. So I guess the router's RAM usage, flash usage, stuff like that. The CPU usage on the, on the router as well. We have monitor internet utilization and live game ping. That's actually pretty cool. So you can monitor the total usage of your download speed, your upload speed and stuff. And I guess what's been using it. So like web, social media, or like gaming. That's all pretty cool. So you got some insight there into where your internet is being like most used, I suppose. But let's unbox this bad boy. Oh my Lord. I have never had a high-end router before. I've had a couple of Netgear routers in the past. Because um, when I had, I think I was with a BT a long, long time ago. Like probably six or seven years ago, I was with BT. And we had like two Netgear routers. They were pretty cool. One of them had like this blue orb LED light in the middle, which was very cool. Right, let's unbox this router. I can't imagine, it is a big router. It has four antennas. My lord, the Wi-Fi connection. Oh my lord, here it is. These might be the Wi-Fi antennas. They're probably not. They're probably not though. Uh, but I don't. I don't know what's in this white little box right here. We'll find out later. But 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Netgear Nighthawk Gaming Router Model XR500. Christ. <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> oh my god, look at it. Oh, oh, it's so mean. This router, oh my lord. Right, so we got Wi-Fi on off, WPS. We got all your like network type stuff here. So we got like the power indicator, internet 2.4, 5 gigahertz. You can open up a guest Wi-Fi, that's cool. We got USB 1, 2, oh dope. They have two USB ports here. Cool, we have two USB 3.0 ports on the side of the router here. So I believe what you can do is you can plug in like an external hard drive into this and use it throughout your entire network. So that is really cool as I actually have a one terabyte hard drive that is hooked up at the top of my PC there. And instead of me leaving it there now, I can just plug it into the side of the router, hide that hard drive away. This is gonna be so cool. So uh, let's continue unboxing this, I suppose. So right over here, we got a quick start guide. Oh, <laughs> and of course we get some stickers as well. Oh, thank, thank God we get stickers. I, I like stickers and I'm sure all of you do as well. Right, oh my Lord. There's also a CD. So we have a quick start guide and then I guess more quick start guides in different languages, cool. Um, let's put that all away there. This is just some information, I don't know. We also have this beautiful Nighthawk Pro Gaming sticker here as well. Very nice. I'm not too sure where I'll be putting that, but I'll be sure to find a place for it. Then we also have a Netgear device safety and software update information. Um, an empty bag. Okay, here are the antennas. Here are the, uh, four gigantic antennas. Wow. Okay then, <laughs> we have the power cord of course. Oh, and they even throw in an ethernet cable. Um, I'm guessing this is like Cat5e, yeah, Cat5e patch. I have Cat7 cabling here, so I won't be using this. Thank you though. <laughs> okay, so here we have another power supply for the router, but this one is for an EU plug, I believe, and this is for the UK. Cool. And then of course we have the four antennas, and I believe that is it. Yep, that's it, and there's nothing else in the box. Now, we have to check out the merch and the other package that they sent us. This is just a plain white box, and I don't know what's in it, so... Let me put all the antennas away and stuff, and put this box down there. What on earth is this? Uh, so, um, oop. Okay, is this being intended to be open? Okay, cool. This... I have no clue what this is, honestly. Oh my... <laughs> what is this? Oh my lord. Okay, I wasn't expecting... <laughs> oh, this is nice! Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't expecting to get a Nighthawk Pro Gaming, like, water bottle as well. But, I'll take it, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay, there's some stuff in here as well. H2O Go Surge. This is 28 ounces, 828 millimeters, single wall aluminium water bottle with threaded snap fit lid and carrying handle. How nice of you guys. Thank you so much, Netgear. I appreciate it. Damn. Okay, we also have a t-shirt in here as well. Oh, this is... Oh, what? This is not a t-shirt. This is like... This is a hoodie. <laughs> This feels like Christmas, I'm just getting like gifts. We got a water bottle, we got a router, and the merch that Netgear sent me. I thought I was gonna get a t-shirt. They sent me a freaking hoodie. This is so nice that there's a zipper on here and everything. This is so nice. Let me put this on. This hoodie is like super thin as well, as it's the summer. This is super nice. Thank you so much, guys. I wear a size small, despite me going gym. I'm still pretty small, dude. Oh my lord. The material is pretty good. We got Nighthawk Pro Gaming. I'm so happy with this. Okay, so I've zipped it up. I've attached the microphone to the hoodie now. This is the best day ever. Right, so now that we've unboxed all the Nighthawk Pro Gaming merch, let's plug in this badass router into my network, set it all up. Just before we actually plug in the router and run some speed tests and stuff, let's run a baseline speed test using my BT Infinity 2 router. So uh, let's just hit go. I don't think anything else is running in the background. We got 9 ping. This will probably be around 75 Mbps and the upload will be between 18 and 19 megabits per second. Uh, let's just wait for this to finish. Yeah, this usually like slowly creeps up towards 75. Then sometimes the score drops a little bit, but that's a pretty good score. That might be a new record actually. <laughs> Uh, the ping is always like really really good now like the ping would sometimes even show up as one millisecond like now and again But it hasn't done that in a long time. There we go. Damn. Okay, the upload speed weren't above 19 there But the actual result was 18.95 So that is our baseline results with the BT Smart Hub router that my ISP gave me when I switched to BT Infinity 2 Now let's plug in and set up this router and run some more speed tests 
Right, so I'm just going to quickly unbox all the antennas here. Damn! Take a look at these antennas, guys. Holy crap. They're cool, dude! These are some cool antennas. My current router doesn't have any visible antennas at all. We got our four antennas for our crazy Netgear router right here. Let's get the power here. And the entire setup will be very, very simple. You just plug an Ethernet cable from your modem into the internet port at the back of the router. And then you should be good to go, pretty much. Right, so we have antenna one and one. This is labeled as antenna one as well. This is labeled as antenna two. This is labeled as antenna one. And this is labeled as antenna three. So uh, find the correct ports. Take these little thingies off here. So you can actually screw them in. Uh, so this is antenna one. Perfect. Let's just screw this bad boy in. There we go. Then adjust it like that. This is antenna three. This will go on the side here. See, it says antenna three here. This one you can just screw in as there's no little thing to take off. There we go. There we go. Now that's pointing the right way. There's antenna two over here. So we'll find antenna two. That's this one here. Uh, so let's screw this one in. Yep, there we go. I don't want to damage anything. So that's all done. And then finally we have antenna one again, which will go right here. All the antennas are now screwed in. Dear Lord, oh, okay, maybe this one's not fully screwed in. There we go, now it is. Very nice. This router looks insane. Like, you guys have to agree, this looks absolutely crazy. <laughs> like, the four antennas, it's so aggressive looking as well. Like, I love it. There's like all these like fins here and like cooling. Damn dude, this is the most badass router I've ever laid eyes on. So thank you so much Netgear. Once again, I'll keep saying thank you like every five minutes as I'm very thankful for the router. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look at my current router which is sitting right underneath my bed here. Uh, you can just barely see the little blue light there. So I'm gonna take a look at that now, zoom out my camera because I'm really zoomed in right now. And then we're gonna upgrade the router right now. Right, so I just found this 50 centimeter Cat7 Ethernet cable in my cupboard, which I bought many, many years ago. And what I'm gonna be doing is plugging one end into the back of this router. It says internet right here, this yellow port here. So I'm gonna plug one end into this and this other end into the back of my modem, which is also my current router. So I'm gonna plug that end into that one. And that's how this router is gonna receive internet as I would directly plug in an ethernet cable from the wall to this, but in the UK, and where I live, I have a VDSL or ADSL connection. So uh, there's like a phone line, it goes into a micro filter. From the micro filter, there's like an RJ11 connection from the micro filter to your modem. And from your modem, then you have an ethernet cable that you plug into your PC. So this is adding one extra step to my network. That's just the way I have to set it up. There's honestly no other way I can set up this router, but hopefully that won't be a problem at all. So I'm gonna plug this bad boy in and let's hope for the best. <laughs> Right, you can't really see much of what just happened because this is kind of like a really awkward angle the way I set everything up here. But I've plugged the router in. You can probably see a few flashing lights over there. This corner of my room has once again become a cable management disaster. And um, luckily I'm going to be moving the router away from my bed in the coming weeks. I've planned out everything already. What really sucks is that the router is kind of like hidden away there in the corner of my room, which it really should be on display because it's such a beautiful router. So my plan is to add an extension to my desk right here. So I'm going to be adding an extra one meter of desk space here by adding an extra Ikea desk and then putting my Alex drawer in between two of these. So that's kind of the plan here. And then I'm going to run the internet connection from the wall there all the way around my entire room to my modem, then from the modem to the router and then from the router to my PC. So it's gonna be, oh, what's this? What is this? We have Netgear, important update. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, continue, <laughs> I agree. Checking my internet connection. Is it working? That's the real question. Internet detected, ooh, very nice. Checking internet speed, oh yeah. Well, I guess we're set up already. That was pretty quick. <laughs> there we go. Uh, download 75 almost <laughs> and then if you believe your speeds are different I can edit these values well I don't know if this will be like a cap for it but I'm gonna put 75 and 19 
Press next. Let me set up my details here. Right, so now that everything's set up with the router, let's hit go for another speed test. We got eight milliseconds, one millisecond less. And uh, the, I'm, I'm guessing the speeds will stay more or less the same as it's still going through the same modem. But the Wi-Fi connection in my house will be amazing. I could probably be like very far away from my home and still have Wi-Fi. Thanks to the four antennas and stuff. But yeah, the internet speed will be more or less the same, but probably maybe better ping and definitely a better connection overall. Thanks to this amazing router, like the dashboard looks insane. I'll show you it in just a second, but speed's more or less the same, if not ever so slightly better with the ping there. And if we go into the dashboard, we got a geo filter here, which looks insane. We have quality of service. Oh, cool. So we have a bunch of stuff here. We have a um, bandwidth allocation, download, upload. Oh my Lord. So you can allocate uh, and like add speed caps, I suppose, or bandwidth caps to devices on your network. So you can select like my iPhone or my PC and and cap the uh, bandwidth usage on that device, which is very, very cool if you ask me. Then we also have my iPhone here connected via five gigahertz on the Netgear uh, Wi-Fi connection. And then from the router, we have WAN to my PC right here. And then we also have these two as well. So we have my modem, which is my BT Smart Hub going through WAN into the router. So this is all my network setup right here. Of course, I'm gonna be adding my mum to the Wi-Fi connection here as well. She's been complaining about Wi-Fi dropping off now and again. So this new router will help my mum stay on the Wi-Fi without it dropping off, hopefully, thanks to the four antennas that are on this router. Oh my Lord, the Wi-Fi range is gonna be amazing. I'm actually gonna run a speed test on my phone, go into speed test and then run a quick little test from the uh, new router on my phone. This would have probably been a better test to begin with, there we go, we got 11 milliseconds, and yeah, the speeds are most likely going to be fantastic on Wi-Fi now. Oh my lord, beautiful, beautiful, more or less the exact same as with a wide connection. Uh, the Damn, the upload speed is almost better, <laughs> that, that's crazy. Right, wow, I, that might be the best upload speed I've ever got, so yeah, very, very good speeds, even on Wi-Fi, as you all can see, 74.3 megabits per second download speed 11 ping jitter 0.55 milliseconds zero percent loss and then 19.1 megabytes per second download as well so fantastic stuff i'm very happy with the router so far i'll leave a link to the router in the description down below as always of course and in the next couple of weeks or so i'll make a follow-up video going over all the features all the cool little like stuff this router can do testing it out a little bit more further and more in depth as well so thank you very much for watching this unboxing and first impressions of my new router right here, which is the Netgear XR500 Nighthawk Pro Gaming Router. So I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. I'll have another video of Setup Block coming out very soon as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video as always, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye. <laughs>